Welcome to another All About Symbian video. Here we're going to take a look at the webmail component of Nokia's Mail on Ovi service. On logging in at mail.ovi.com, you're presented with a fairly standard look and feel for a webmail interface. Mail on Ovi is really intended for those who don't already have an email address, and so simplicity is to the fore. As is typical with webmail services, Ajax web technology is used to give a more application-like feel. Here we can see it's being used to allow you to drag and drop emails into different folders, thus giving you an easy way to organise incoming email. These folders are the principal way you organise your email within Mail on Ovi. These folders are created as IMAP folders on the server. If you access Mail on Ovi through a standard client, you'll be able to see these folders as you would for any other IMAP account. Opening up an email brings no real surprises. There's the usual reply, forward and delete messages, as well as a drop down menu for placing the current email into a folder. It's worth noting this pane on the left hand side of the page. It lists recently received emails in the current inbox or folder and offers a quick way to navigate to what are likely to be your most pressing emails. As shown here, you can also navigate to the next and previous emails using the shortcut buttons on the top right hand of the toolbar. Composing a new message is again a fairly standard process. Once again, Ajax technology has been used to help improve usability, here giving auto-completion to the to field. There's the usual functions such as rich formatting for email, the ability to save to draft, and to spell check emails. You can add up to 10 files as attachments, although the total size must be no more than 20 megabytes. Going back to the inbox, we can then go into the address book. This is where the autocomplete information in the compose and reply message come from. That's the odd pop-up for viewing information quickly, and here you can see the full information of a contact. The current version of Mail on Ovi does not connect with Sync on Ovi. That's a Nokia service that allows you to sync data from your phone up into the cloud. However, this will be added before the final release of Mail on Ovi, which means for many people their address book will be pre-populated. For now, of course, you can add email addresses manually, and the service is smart enough to allow you to add entries to your address book based on incoming emails. The Ajax version of the Mail on Ovi client really requires broadband to work smoothly, so thankfully Nokia have provided a low bandwidth version. Of course, this has the side effect of removing most of the Ajax functionality, but Mail on Ovi is still perfectly usable in low bandwidth mode. It's pretty clear that Nokia put a lot of effort into developing the webmail component of Mail on Ovi, and for a first beta it's very impressive. Of course, there's room for improvement, and it's not really suitable for power users, but that's not really the point. Mail on Ovi is really designed for those who don't already have an email address. Indeed, the majority of its users will only transition to the webmail component after using the service on their mobile device. Incidentally, if you do want to get Mail on Ovi running on your device, it's easy to do. There's an official beta for Series 40. For S60, you can either use the built-in messaging application shown in the top row, or Nokia's messaging service shown in the bottom row. In both cases, all you need to enter is your Ovi email address and password. The rest is configured automatically and you should be ready to go in about 60 seconds.